In this video on formulae, we're looking at how you can create formulae. So um, the problem that I've created for this one is we've got this shape here, which is made up of a square and a circle. And all we know about the circle is it's got a radius from the center to the edge of R. And we're asked to find a formula for the area of the shaded region, which is going to be called A in terms of R. So looking for some sort of formula would be A equals. Um, the shaded region is the square minus the circle that's in the middle. So our area is going to be essentially made up of the square minus the circle. Um, for the square, if you think about this radius here, um, if we were to double it and get a diameter, that would be all the way across. And the diameter would also, so that would be a radius, and that would be a radius. So the length of that vertical dotted line there is actually 2r, which is the height of the square and therefore will be the width of the square as well. So for our square, we can deduce that the area of the square will be 2r times 2r. Now for a circle you should remember that the area of a circle is pi r squared. Um, so we're going to take away pi r squared because we don't want the circle to be included in the area that we're finding. So area equals 2 times 2 is 4, r times r is r squared, and we're going to minus pi r. Um, this may be a topic you've seen before, or maybe not, but you can factorise this particular formula. That formula will be fine and will work, but just to practice all the skills, uh, factorising, that means finding something that appears in both terms, and in fact, r squared appears in both terms. And what we've done is we've taken a factor of r squared away from 4, and we've taken a factor of r squared away from negative pi. So the formula can also be written in a factorized form there.